Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to this uh, session with uh, uh, Lichas plays uh, me, Nils Grandelius. Uh, I was. I'm just going to accept the uh, challenges uh, pretty randomly. I think uh, today I don't have a strong preference about time, although the only thing maybe not too too long games because then uh, we will not give the possibilities to enough people. But 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, even 3 plus 2 is fine. Shorter than that is also quite possible to mix it up a little bit. Uh, in general, I'm playing mainly uh, 3 plus 0 and 3 plus 1 online, but but I'm open for uh, for everything really. Uh, so let's see. Uh, let me just start with some, uh, some game and see if people are still here. And let's see how it goes. So I will play some uh, Bernie. From, uh, let's see, from Austria, if he is still here. That's the thing, of course, always, that it's uh, never clear who is uh, who is still here after having sent a challenge maybe some time ago. Uh, so he seems to be... Uh, he seems maybe not to be here, or maybe he's on a break. Mm. If he's on a break, I will uh, abort the game and start a new one pretty soon. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, just challenge me on on Liches and we will uh, we will see who gets the chance. Currently, I have some thirty challenges or so, uh, and I will not really. I mean, I will let. Uh, I will give everyone an equal chance to challenge me. I will not. The one who asks for a game the most will not get uh, the most number of games for sure. Uh, it will be it will be random. It doesn't matter if it's run, uh, uh, rated or not. To me, I don't really care at all about the rating. Anyways, it goes very quickly up and down in on Lichia. So he doesn't seem to be here. Mm -hmm. I think I gave him enough time. Uh, I will accept uh, Bullet uh, as well, but I will pref... I mean, I, I, in the beginning I will definitely... Uh, uh, Let's see, let's try to accept Tony, if he is here. I mean, I will try to, to accept mainly, I think, 3 plus 0 and 3 plus 2, because it will give me some time to explain what is going on as well. Uh, so he is here. Tony from, uh, from France. Let's see, so let's start here. Sicilian defense. Should I try to play like uh, Magnus did today against Ariantari? He played the classical Sicilian and had a very dubious position. Uh, but Tari played the main line bishop g5 instead of, uh, of knight f3. Knight f3 I have never actually seen, but uh, guess it's playable. Uh, normally in the Sicilian the knight is not that well placed on f3 because you want to push the pawn to f3 or f4. But on the other hand it's, it's still solid, everything is protected, so... Uh, uh, if I have any opening requests, no, I think it's rather uh, the contrary. If you have any opening requests, I'm happy to oblige, uh, happy to uh, to play whatever you you want me to play. Mm, but what you play, I mean, you can play absolutely anything you want. Uh, but my opponent is pretty fast for a three plus zero, so I should be. Uh, mm, now, Carlsen didn't lose, he actually won the game, but he was having a very, very bad position, or at least very risky, let's say. Uh, according to the engines, it was also really, really bad. But in practical terms, maybe a more fair description is that it was really uh, risky. So here he took an e5, which in general I believe favors black in these kind of positions, uh, because uh, this bishop is now very strong and this knight is not so good because it can't jump to d5, I will take it. So, uh, all in all, I do believe that I have uh, quite a pleasant position. Nowadays it's very uh, sort of popular to run with h-pawn, so... Also here, this knight is a bit clumsy, so, so it makes some sense to push. Uh, let's see, B queen e3 is a good move, I mean, hinting at, at some squares there, maybe knight g4. If I... Uh, Watch any other chess stream? Of course, I watch uh, a lot of chess streamers. Uh, uh, 
But I have to say, I mean, if I'm if I'm going to be completely honest, I I'm mainly, I mean, most of the time spent watching chess is watching the official channels like uh, Chess Twenty Four's commentaries, excellent, especially now on Norway Chess. But also Chess.com with the uh, the online tournaments, it's also great fun. Uh, so that's what I mainly do because, well, that's where it's the most chess, but. Uh, You, I mean, if anyone wants to play Bon Cloud against me, I mean, if you feel free. I mean, I would be. Uh, let's say, let's say I'm not that afraid. <laughs> uh, psychological moves. Uh, what is psychological moves, in my opinion? Well, one example would be uh, the game of the world champion today, Magnus Carlsen. Uh, uh, he played very riskily, but he. It was a calculated risk. Uh, I mean, he, he played something that, okay, computers are giving white a big edge, his opponent a big edge. But on the other hand, uh, it was very sharp, it was unclear. Uh, and uh, like, eventually Tari made a mistake and he could turn their game around and then he won very, very convincingly. So that I would say is psychological chess. Playing something you know is not... Uh, uh, by objective criteria, the best. Mm. So let's see. I mean, what I should be a little bit careful not to blunder anything on that side. Uh, but the, his main problem is, of course, this knight on on h one. Uh, this knight is not really into the game at all. And if he moves this pawn, then this square is very very good for me on f four. So. Uh, I mean that that's his main problems the problem for me or the main problem for me is that it's not that clear how I'm making progress uh, so now I'm trying to enter with the queen on e2 on c2 mm. let's see but now he gets some counterplay with h5 this was a bit unnecessary by me uh, okay yeah, maybe the rook should come to, to c2. That makes a lot of sense as well. Hmm. So yeah, as you can see, I'm speaking a little bit less now because it's quite tense and I don't have that much time. Uh, and actually my position is not that great anymore either. Let's see if I will... Okay, this was a strange move because now... Uh, now I might be able to trade queens. After which I would be I would be winning with my extra material. I don't have that much time, but I think it's fine uh, because it's very easy to play when you have a lot of extra material. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this was not great technique. Doesn't matter that much. Now I can just pre-move, so now it should be fine. Yeah, good game, good game. I mean, I was doing well positionally, but uh, at some point I lost track and also my time was running out. So it was in fact... Uh, uh, it was in fact a big fight. Okay, let's see. Uh, anyone else? Let's, I will. I, it will just be completely random. Let's play with uh, Mr. Sidara from. Uh, I know this is five plus five plus here is a little bit too slow for me. Let's play maybe with uh, King Alpha Zero. No, but it's also five zero. Let's see. Okay, from Antarctica. I don't believe that is that is correct. With White as well. Okay, let's go D four. Evran Chao. Uh, is Ogre a good teacher? Well. Uh, I think so, yeah, he's one of the best. And I think especially he's an excellent author. I have more experience with Augard uh, as an author than a teacher. And as an author, he's one of the absolutely best. Uh, what else is there? Would you recommend to a person new to chess who wants to improve the game? Play a lot of games, I think is the most important thing. Play a lot of games, and if you are extra serious, then analyze them as well. 
Uh, that is sort of the the main thing for for improving. Uh, what is the best way to go from 2000 to 2200? Uh, well, at that point, uh, it's probably about time to start to not only play. But first, playing is still the most important thing. But uh, then you also need to study some more specific parts uh, of the game. Uh, like you can, uh, for instance, specialize in openings or in end games or middle games. Could be fun. I'm not sure whether this Antarctica guy is uh, actually here. No, he is. He started D4, D5. Slav defense. Let's maybe play like Fabiano did yesterday. Uh, against uh, Duda. This looked very uh, impressive. Uh, e6 generally is not played that often because you want to keep the option of developing the bishop to f5. But this is slightly uh, mysterious to me, let's say. Or slightly passive. To be, uh, to be frank, yeah, white is now a little bit better, I believe, because this bishop is very passive. Mm. What training did you do to become a grandmaster? I mainly played, uh, because I became a grandmaster when I was pretty young, so I was still learning mainly from just playing, but uh, playing and analyzing my games were the two uh, main things that made me become a grandmaster, by far. Uh, especially analyzing with strong players, I think. If you play an opponent who is stronger than yourself, it's very, very nice to, after the game, discuss with him what happened, hear his opinions and so on. That uh, That is an excellent tool. Uh, you can also use the computer, but the computer is uh, uh, trickier to use in chess improvement. It, it requires you to know a little bit more what you are doing than just playing. So here, now I'm getting a little bit tempted here, because now I want to take, he takes, sorry, take, take, and I go queen h5. It looks like I have uh, quite a nice, I mean, I will sacrifice the bishop if I'm giving the chance on g6, if he plays g6. And if he plays h6, king is very weak, so let's see now. Let's see if this sacrifice is at all sound. Mm, so my plan was to give a check and then collect this pawn on e6. So now I already have three pawns. So materially speaking, I am uh, fine. But the question is, should I try to go for mate or should I try to take a fourth pawn and play with uh, for material? Yeah, I couldn't see a clear mate, so I am going for this. Uh, let's see, queen e4. Exchange love is underrated, Bald is saying. Yeah, this uh, I definitely... Uh, uh, I definitely agree. Yeah? I mean, as we could see yesterday in this excellent win by Fabiano. Rook c6. Let's see. Ah, I had no time preference. Okay, yeah, this is, this is true. Yeah, no, in general I prefer when... Uh, what I meant with no time preference is like... 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, or, or less than that is fine, but but 5 minutes is maybe too long for what we are doing here, because we want to give as many people as possible the chance. Okay, now I think actually I managed to uh, find some mating net here. Uh, checkmate. Thank you for the game. Mm, let's see, let's play some... Uh, I'm not really... There's now a long, uh, long list. Let's play against Fishy Vishy. This time a little bit stronger opponent. Let's see how he plays. And we are playing rated. Uh huh. Three two is fine. Yeah. Next game I will play three two. I just. Uh... And Fishy Vishy is playing very fishy chess here. I'm never accepting this uh, gambit actually. I don't want to be attacked, and I especially don't want to be attacked when I play Blitz. Uh, but now? What is this now? Okay, let's just play d6 anyway. Mm, Fishy Vishy is a Lee Chess patron. And this did not in any way influence me choosing. I just noticed now, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> okay, let's see. So I'm a pawn up. But I will not take this pawn, it, it's way too dangerous. 
Instead, I will try to trade pieces. Mm, Skakund bullet is fine as well. Uh, especially if we at some point get a little bit tired of the slowness. Uh, <laughs> of the games, especially maybe after some 3 plus 2, especially we can switch to some bullet. Mm. So now, yeah, he, I mean, this is this cat and, uh, cat and mouse game. Like, he really wants to sacrifice a pawn, he wants me to take a pawn. And just that's the only reason that I that I don't want to take his pawns. Yes, again, playing what, what we said was psychological chess. This time, yeah, I mean, I'm tempted to actually try to keep the pawn on d4. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Best little helper. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, <laughs> some username. Sometimes if you have a very nice username, I will accept exclusively because of that as well. Uh, Bakus, if I miss my long hair. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, but uh, I'm also happy that I changed. For those of you who don't know what we are talking about, I used to have dreadlocks for five years, which is quite... Uh, Quite a special haircut, I have to say. But I cut them off some years ago and I don't really miss them. Mm. So let's see. I mean, what I'm somewhat afraid of is that there will be a sacrifice, not that I get mated, but that there will be a perpetual check. For instance, now it's very important that I don't play e5 to open up for this bishop because then rook takes g6 uh, and I can't recapture with this pawn. Uh, so this e5 now I have to be very careful not to play. Mm, what else is there? I can move my king, but that's a bit strange. But also how is he going to develop? This is uh, this is quite unclear to me. Maybe not. I mean, I want to play e5, but I can't. Can I prepare it in some way? Can I play? But queen f6 is dubious because his knight will come. Okay, I go knight d5. Hmm... Yeah, I uh, yeah, <laughs> I do understand skakund. Yeah, it means chess dog. Well, I'm not. I understand the words. I'm not sure I understand the meaning of it. But uh, yeah, uh, how am I? I'm doing well. Little bit. Um, I mean, it's a little bit strange situation because I'm now currently in Stavanger, uh, in Norway, where they are playing this Norway chess uh, classical chess tournament, and I am there because I will go to. I will do commentary for Norwegian TV. Norwegian TV2 uh, starting from Saturday but because of the quarantine rules I had to be there already today uh, oh no sorry I had to be there already for 10 days so this is my seventh day of, of the quarantine uh, but I don't mind this quarantine so I mean I'm anyway uh, can be online I can uh, be here playing games uh, yeah, it's not so bad. Mm. If I had another job than being a chess professional, then maybe the quarantine would really be unpleasant. But now I don't mind so much. Okay, so he has some pressure here, actually. I'm, I'm not happy with bishop e6, but I couldn't see an alternative. Uh, he will take and play h5, I think. That would give me uh, some headache. Okay, now he goes there instead. This I was somehow less scared about. Uh, let's see, but he's playing fast as well, so I should I should be careful about time. Uh, I speak Norwegian. I don't speak Norwegian, but Norwegian and Swedish they are very similar languages. And uh, when I'm on TV in Norway, they don't even put subtitles. They just sort of assume that their viewers will. Uh... Okay, now I blundered an exchange. That was unfortunate. Uh, they just assume that they will understand, which I think they do. So. Uh, but I don't really speak it, but I understand everything and they understand me, so difference is not that big. Uh, with which time format? 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2 are the best. But you are very welcome to challenge me in faster games as well, if you prefer. Uh, yeah, now I should speed up a little bit. This is beginning to feel a bit risky. Now I want f4. Go f4. Ah, now there is rook g8. I needed to... Ah, but he doesn't play rook g8. This was nice. Good news for me. This now should be winnable, I think. Now I have che check here as a threat. I think it's a very good threat. This feels winning to me. 
Fishy, fishy. Do you have any fishy lost uh, attempts here? Takes, but I can just take it. Because I will collect this pawn. No checks. And without checks, it will very soon be mate. But he was fighting very well. Thank you for the game, fishy fishy. Good game, good game. Uh, let's play now against... Uh, Play some with uh, with some uh, increment. Connor, let's play Connor. Eight one five three. Connor from uh, USA. Ah, not that many games. Uh -huh. mm, do I play variants? Yeah, I play variants. Uh, the 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 one main variant I play, which unfortunately is not yet on Liches, is Bug House, of course. I mean, two against two, Crazy House, two against two, basically. This is one of my favorite hobbies since since a small kid. Uh, but uh, so obviously I do play a bit of Crazy House as well. Uh, but no, the rest of the formats I I don't play. Uh, unfortunately, I hardly know the rules of Atomic and uh, and those. Uh... <laughs> Cutlass, I would be a great streamer. Thank you very much. I was actually <laughs> streaming myself for quite a while, or I am. Streaming when when my schedule is not too busy, but What I found out is that in general my schedule is too busy uh, But it's now because I started to travel a bit uh, again uh, At some point I think I will travel less and then I will possibly pick up streaming as well mm, Yeah, we all love bug house. Yeah uh, I did even used to play some tournaments and so on uh, let's see. So yeah, I mean here, uh, what happened is that uh, this trade I think was was not uh, optimal for uh, for my opponent because uh, after the trade, then these two pawns they are very very weak now, and the bishop on d three is quite loose. Like the central, the central pawns are on the same color as his bishop, like this pawn and this pawn, which means that the bishop is blocked. And so after I recapture this knight at some point, then my knight will be will be excellently placed. Uh, knight c5. Mm. Okay, let's see. Takes. Yeah, I mean 960. No, uh, I mean I, I, I did. I hardly considered it as a, as a version of chess because it's, it's the same rules as in chess 960. 960, of course, I, I, I play. Uh, that is, uh, that is fun. And 960, I played in the 960 title arenas. I did not do so well. I played uh, actually in Reykjavik. They had some big 960 tournaments during their uh, normal chess events. Those I took part. I had great fun. Mm. Let's see here. So in general, I'm not so scared of him trading stuff because the more we trade, the more clear it will be that my knight is much superior to to his bishop. So that and that is basically my main plan for the whole game. So now let's just trade the last one, get rid of the queens as well, uh, and probably a five. But a five is already a little bit. Because at some point maybe I would want to open on the queen side, so better to uh, to play queen e6. Mm. Ah, f4. f4 is interesting. I mean, with this move f4, white is saying that uh, he needs to get some counterplay. Because if he wa just waits, I will uh, slowly improve my position and uh, eventually it will become too much. Downside of f4 is that his position is not sort of ready for it. Uh, let me just let me just switch this off. Yeah, I mean uh, th this gaming on terrible PC. This actually is uh, is a fair point. I have to say. Uh, I mean, I have been criticizing his positional decisions uh, a bit, uh, trying to explain maybe what what I would have done instead. But uh, the main point is that he did not blunder anything. Which is quite impressive when you are relatively new to the game. Uh, 
But now, of course, yeah, when the knight starts to jump in, now it, it's very, very tough. But now I wouldn't really call it uh, blunders anymore. It's it's just that the position is uh, is so bad that that things just drops off naturally. Uh, like these two pawns. Okay, he stepped into a fork, you could say, but it was also just that the pawns in general were uh, were too weak. Uh, let's see here. Let's just take this one instead because the pawns here they are not running away. They are. Uh, they are there for the rest of the game. Yeah, I mean, I, there are many ways, but generally, going to a pawn ending is is a very safe way to convert. Because I will use uh, the f pawn as a bait, and then I will ju run over to pick up this pawn or these pawns. Uh, and yeah, I can make uh, a lot of uh, waiting moves here. And at some point, he has to let my king enter, and then the game is over. Uh, so yeah. But okay, he was fighting uh, very well, uh, Connor. I have to say, this was nice. But now, yeah, now it's not so uh, so difficult. Now it's just pushing all the pawns. There is one trick. I should not go f2 here, because then it's stalemate. So maybe king f2. Mm. And. Just push the f-pawn. And now maybe push the next one as well. So, okay, but but well played. Yeah, I mean, uh, many not that many blunders for sure. Let's go. Mm, let's try one uh, casual, uh, slightly faster game against Ricardo from... Uh, ah, but he doesn't have his country. I don't know where he's from. So it's one plus two. Good luck, Ricardo. Mm. I have played a little bit of one. Pl I have played, of course, uh, one plus uh, zero quite a bit, normal bullet, but otherwise one plus one is is the one that I have played. One plus two, I think I almost never played. Uh, yeah, thank you for the game. Uh, and Ricardo is saying in the private chat that he is from Italy, so we know the we know the country now. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, so this is Nimsu Indian. This bishop d2 has actually gotten fashionable uh, lately. It was played, for instance, by Levon Aronian against uh, world champion Carlsen two days ago, the first round of Norway chess. Mm, we previously thought that it was a bit... Uh, with we, I mean, like, um, theoreticians in general, that it was a bit passive. But people have sort of come to understand that... I mean, you pick up the bishop pair here, you keep the two bishops for a long time, Maybe you can still aspire to a slight edge. Uh, it's not so bad, yeah. It's definitely, uh, definitely a playable line. Not worse than other moves. And here is always the big question. I, I play knight d7. This allows bishop e1, which looks passive. Let's white. Uh, let whites keep uh, keep the two bishops, uh, which uh, could be quite useful. He doesn't do it. So now at some point I really feel like it's time to. Take. Now the bishop can also retreat to b2, but taking yeah, taking is solid, but it's not so ambitious. Uh, okay, let's see. Also, I'm down to less than half a minute. Doctor Wolfius, I'm playing. I'm I'm sort of randomly accepting challenges. So sometimes it's some higher rated players. Sometimes it's a little bit lower. Uh, provisional players, I am told to avoid uh, to to play, which I think makes sense. Uh, but sometimes I forget. Uh, yeah, but Atomic, uh, no, I, I will not play any Atomic. I will be happy to play 960. If anyone challenges 960, I can take next game 960. But Atomic is uh, is, is too strange. I, I mean, I don't really even remember how it works. Uh, what do I think about Ferusha? I mean, what is there to think? He's an incredibly strong player. Uh... But it was quite clear yesterday that he was less, I mean, he showed that he was less uh, experienced than, uh, hang on, I just need to not get flagged here. Less experienced than, let's say, the, the world champion in this game, uh, which, I mean, is not so surprising. 
But uh, I mean, getting flagged in an Armageddon playing so slowly that really uh, doesn't happen if you are, I mean, or it shouldn't happen. It did sort of happen to Levon, but uh, uh, it, it shouldn't. So now, yeah, this positional sacrifice, it's actually not even a sacrifice uh, because uh, H4 was hanging, but I played it as a sacrifice because I didn't see that it was hanging. And, but yeah, now this knight is very strong. So now I'm in complete control, I think. Now I can enter here. Yeah, this uh, this is very, very good. Actually, g5 was much better going for the immediate mate. I'll do it now instead. Uh, and g4, checkmate. It's always a bit... Uh, I mean, thank you for the game, first of all. But also, yeah, it's always a bit cute when you can checkmate with a pawn, I think. That's uh, that's quite nice. Uh, okay, let's, let, let's uh, say standard, 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 standard. So, yeah, I was... Sort of, if anyone wanted some uh, 960, I have some crazy house challenges, but that's also a little bit too weir weird, I think. Uh, mm, let's play one. Uh, who is here? Pavan. Let's play, but it's four, no, four second increment is a bit much. Ah, now I'm getting some 960. I have to scroll further down. Jackster the Pro is challenging to 960. Let's do this. Silent Killer Gaming also challenged, yeah. I mean, I, there are so many challenges and I'm not used to scro scrolling that much. Alireza drew, yeah, but uh, lost in... Uh... No, won! Actually, Alireza won, yeah, the Armageddon. This pawn is hanging. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm always so tempted when the bishop is here... Uh... To uh, open up with g6, but I'm not sure. I mean, in, in normal chess, it's not always the best move. So why would it be here? I'm not sure. Fabi is bad at speed chess. I'm not sure. He, 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 it certainly used to be true what you are saying, Vincent. But uh, 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 nowadays, yeah, I think he improved, especially during this... Uh, Car, uh, this uh, um, pandemic situation, he, he just played a lot online and I think now he's as strong as the others, almost. Of course, Hikaru and, and, uh, and Magnus are a bit stronger, probably, especially online, but apart from that, he is definitely not weaker, I think, than, uh, than the others anymore. But it has changed for the last... Let's see here, where is... Let's... I don't know what to do. E5. E5. Yeah. Five minutes. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Should I play e4 or should I play d6? Actually, I can let him take as well. Might let him take. No, but he wants. He doesn't want to take. He actually wants to play d5. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's go e4. Not sure if I want to play d5 or if I want to play uh, with the pawn on d6. Generally, it's very confusing, this. Uh... Yeah, it's that's true. Yeah, I mean, knight, knight c7 is, is possible. The thing is that knight a5 or knight c5, then I would probably have to cast a long to protect the pawn on b7. Uh, and I wasn't sure if I want to cast a long when his rook is on the c file. Uh... Mm, but maybe I could have done it. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, so he does cast along. That sort of gives me the possibility to cast along as well with uh, with complete safety. But I will actually try now to play d5. And if he takes, I'm taking with the pawn. And then suddenly my rook is against his king, which could be nice. Uh, so he plays c5. But now, I mean, soon I'm actually tempted to castle short. I think that's what I will try to do. I will castle short, and then I will open up with b6 uh, and try to uh, to get at his king. This knight, actually knight a6, knight b4 is, is an interesting idea as well. Uh, let's start with b6, hiding my intentions a little bit. Mm, yeah, exactly, I mean, uh, <laughs> Chinese wall. Uh, 
<laughs> A6 for the meme. I didn't even notice that I had this nice pawn chain. Uh, but that's of course, yeah, could have been uh, could have been fun. Okay, let's not uh, yes, take maybe oh, bishop e6. Ah, bishop e6. Mm. Yeah, but it's clear it's it's much uh, trickier to play crazy house uh, than the normal blitz. That's it's so much tougher actually. Requires completely different concentration. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, but now if I castle, I castle immediately into the attack. It's also a bit weird. But at some point he will open up in the. No, I think I will have to castle. Hmm. Yeah, but I, he actually managed to. I mean, this f3 and g4 plan was very nice. He managed to get counterplay against my king, which I thought was the safe one. Mm -hmm. And now even bishop g. Oof. Oof. Yeah, now is I really uh, misplayed it. Now I might be doing quite badly because now the bishop comes to uh, to d6. Mm -hmm. Green green shirt in front of a yeah. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know when when you are in a quarantine, there are not sometimes not that many options. <laughs> I have I have been stuck in my hotel room for uh, seven days already. Uh, so, can't change the orange background, I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> mm, okay, let's see, I won a pawn, but I'm much less uh, happy about my position than let's say 10 moves ago. Uh, because I feel that he has a lot of counterplay, all his pieces are doing excellent work. Mm hmm. Let's see, casual. Uh, hmm. Yeah, but okay, I, I'm gaining some time by by threatening to trade queen. So maybe in fact I'm I am a little bit better. But uh, yeah, queen. If he has to go back, then I can maybe hit his queen one more time. Yeah. No, no, of course I. Uh, it's in general uh, very difficult to make me upset. Don't don't worry. <laughs> That uh, that uh, has to be said. It happens very rarely. Hello to Slovenia. How is Slovenia doing in these challenging times? It's a pity because uh, we were going to play the European Championship in Slovenia, which I looked forward to a lot actually. European Individual Championship. Uh, and they cancelled it due to the pandem pandemic, so we'll not be going to Slovenia this year, unfortunately. Uh, hmm, pawn is hanging. I mean, this is the s thing that happens to me when I play... Uh, ah, he's running low on that. When I'm playing uh, this uh, chest 960, I'm ending up with a knight on a8. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm so... Uh, Sad always. I mean, it's it, it never in Fisher Random are all my pieces like on good squares. Like I always have at least one piece like that knight on a8. Now, after rook e1, finally I'm allowed to uh, develop it to e6. So now I'm I'm happy. But uh, uh, yeah, it it was looking very uh, very dubious there for a moment. The knight was not standing very well. Bishop on h8 also is bad, but it was nowhere near as bad as the knight on a8, I feel. Knight when knight was a much worse case. And now I have two against one, so why not uh, why not push? Fixing actually the pawn here, so now I will play this cunning plan of going with the bishop. Uh, let's see. So he actually managed to be in time to get his knight to g3, which was nicely done. Now I think I will push c5. And this... Yeah, this is probably, hopefully, too much for him to handle. Uh, knight e5, now I can come to f3 with the knight. Ah, knight f5. Yeah, check. And now the big question, should I take? But I think I need to take. He will take on c5. So this, I'm not so happy with my conversion here because uh, now he has a free, a post a pawn. 
uh, which he was really not supposed to have. I mean, he's fighting actually very well here, Jaxter, right? and it's clear that I relaxed a bit too early. Uh, which is one of my, what's always one of my main uh, problems in chess. So many games that I relaxed too early throughout my career. Uh... Uh, finally, I have too many pawns. I saw rookie one. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Uh, or do you mean if I saw it in advance? <laughs> I did. Yeah. No, the rookie one was nice. But in general, uh, this game of uh, of Magnus today was very risky. Eh? Thank you very much, Jaxter, for the game. I mean, you you fought excellently from this very tough position. It was not that far away from the ending. Aryan played really well, and Magnus played like quite. I mean, I would say it, he took a lot of risk. Yeah. Okay, let's play now with uh, Hectic. No, let's play with uh, DJHVGTG. I hope that's not your name. Then I feel <laughs> sorry for you. <laughs> uh, so now 3 plus 2. Uh, Jackson, yeah, thank you. Mm, okay, let's go D4. Open Sicilian. That's nice about playing online, yeah, yeah that you can uh, you can just go for the open Sicilian uh, without remembering anything because it doesn't matter. Let's see here. Bishop d3. This is my old. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, hectic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm saying too much. <laughs> this is some old line actually uh, that I have played with black quite a bit throughout the years. Uh, Obviously, I don't uh, remember a thing, but mm. yeah, I mean, in, yeah, in general, like it, it's a bit risky for for black this stuff because you're not really developing your pieces, and white has nice control in the center. That you are basing your play around sort of counter attack, like you have this bishop. Sometimes it can get going against the king. Uh, so some some possibilities for, for for that, but but like fundamentally, it's not really sound for black. I think this uh, this sort of play, uh, but I have played it in in many classical games myself as black and won from many many dubious positions. So it's it's a matter of taste. Mm. Yeah, what I'm thinking about now is knight a5. It would probably force him to take on b6. Uh, and then I should have something smart. But it's this smart thing that I have not yet figured out. So yeah, let's do it. And then see. Uh, yeah, so he takes, I think maybe just knight c4 and bishop a3. And I get this monster knight on, on d6. Uh, yeah. Mm. So probably as but as black, it's yeah, it's very hard to uh, come up with uh, suggestions because if uh, if he takes, then b seven will be very very scary. Yeah, you you have to take on c f and on b six and hope that you survive. I think I think that's the best uh, that's the best way. But now bishop a three. Mm. And then knight comes to d6. If I have played against Jonas Bjerrien, yeah, this is this is correct. Jonas Bjerrien is a uh, young Danish grandmaster, like Denmark's uh, new uh, hope in chess, or the big the big hope for for Danish chess, and uh, also one of my very very few students. I don't have many students, but he's he's one of them. Uh, what is my score against Luka Lenic? Uh, <laughs> I mean, just knowing his style, <laughs> I would uh, assume that we have a couple of draws against each other. But I can't remember if we actually played. Yeah, we played once in Bundesliga. That was a draw. I, th I think we have one or maybe two draws. I don't think we have any decisive games. 
so let's say, yeah, so my opponent is spending really a lot of time, and that is because next move I go bishop a3, and then I enter on d6, but actually now that I think about it, is it that clear? Bishop a3, I suddenly noticed that he can actually pick up the pawn on uh, on e4. Then if I take... Ah, but I can't take because this one is hanging. So I play bishop a3. Mm, trying to get uh, the, pawn, the knight to d6. If I am allowed to stabilize the knight on d6, I'm doing uh, very, very well. Mm, <laughs> where is the reggae music? Yeah, we can uh, maybe... Sort something out. Yeah, e5 first was possible to stop this d5 break, but I was not that scared of d5. Um, because I think this knight now will... I mean, the problem is you have to go to d7 or d8 with the king. So if you go to f8 or e7, then there is knight b5 check, winning the queen. Am I reading chat? I am definitely reading chat. But I'm not always uh, in time to answer everything. Especially when I'm getting a little bit low on time. But I do try to read as much as possible. Uh, the only problem is that uh, normally at home, when I'm streaming or doing similar things, I'm using like what I think everybody does nowadays, using uh, two screens at the same time. So I have the board on one screen, and then I have like the chat and, and those things on, on another one. Uh, so now I'm using my phone. So if, if you are... Uh, Curious to why I'm looking down all the time, it's not because I have a nervous tics, it's not because I'm using touchpad, it is exclusively because I'm reading chat on my phone. Uh, so, sorry if it's bothering. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I am uh, accepting uh, challenges uh, randomly and I do have sort of 50-60 challenges roughly pending differently, I mean... So, I mean, I'm hoping to be able to play as many of you as possible, but uh, unfortunately, unlikely that I will be in time for everyone. Okay, he resigns because it becomes too much. Now the rook is hanging. Thank you for the game. This is uh, what sometimes happens when you play as riskily as this with black. I have lost many similar games in my career. Uh, let's see here. Now let's play with, uh, let's play someone. Mm -hmm. Let's play one game against Skakund. It's Norwegian. No, sorry, the Dane. The Dane. I'm choosing randomly. I'm just, I'm looking at the list and then I'm just picking something without really thinking. Uh, let's see if he's here. He's at least very active in chat. So uh, let's see, C5. Take this is an old trick of mine that I actually played as a kid. You win, you pick up a piece here. It is e5 uh, fork. It's one of the early tricks that are more difficult to notice. And now checkmate. This was a relatively fast game, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes in uh, uh, in bullet. Let's play now with. Just, what was this? No, but uh, it's, it's uh, one more bullet. Okay, let's play one more bullet. This time against the best, or the best. Uh, he plays c5, okay, very fast player. Let's attack him. They don't always like this when they are uh, playing so fast. If you are playing very fast, it's hard to be in time to, uh, to defend. Let's see here. It should be five. Take. This looks pretty fun. Ah, 960. Yeah, I will play one more 960. It's just so tough. Next game I will play a 960. Mm. Okay. This I missed. Do I have any? Mm -hmm. Let's just play queen g7. Let's play it safe. Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> I mean, good game. Thank you. But it was, of course, a matter of... I. Uh, I mean, I was supposed to take here, he was supposed to go queen e7, but I thought queen e5 was much more tricky, because the rook is hanging, and he pre-moved queen e7 because he thought I would take, so now I can pick up the rook. 
That is again bullet. That's why I, in general, prefer maybe to play uh, a little bit longer games. 960. Let's play a 3 plus 0 960. Uh, if he is here, blitz 66. Okay. Mm. I was trying to accept, but it's difficult. Uh, let's see here. G3, okay. Now I think I can actually pick up a pawn, no? And trap the rook. <laughs> this, is very, this is very, very strange. But this is 960, yeah? Uh, <laughs> uh, this sometimes happens in 960. That's okay. I'm already winning a pawn and an exchange. So I'm probably objectively completely winning. Uh, but as it's 960, it can get confusing even from here, I guess. Uh, and thank you, Rowney. Thank you very much for the sub. Mm. Personally, I think it's great that Lich has started their own uh, Twitch. And I'm very happy to be contributing to the channel a little bit. Uh, I think that that is a nice new step. Mm. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is probably a good idea to check if something is hanging immediately. I'm trying to do it, but it doesn't mean that I'm always successful. In my last title uh, uh, arena, title the 960 arena, I actually lost to Siddler and he was streaming, I think, as the official streamer, if I'm not mistaken. That I remember clearly. If I stream on my own channel, I I, I do stream. Uh, I mean, if you mean now, no, not now. Uh, I, I I have I streamed a lot, especially in summer when I had summer holidays. Now, quite rarely, I would say. Or uh, basically, I'm on a break. Uh, but we will see how long the break is. Mm, bishop takes b6, but bishop takes b6. I think helps me because now his knight is dominated by my pawn here. This feels like a good uh, a good start for me. Okay, let's see. Now, yeah, but d5 is... How can I even think about d5? It's, it looks completely wrong now that I think about. Uh, what should I be doing? I need to activate this bishop. It's, it's strange. It's, it's always so strange. It's 960 business. Let's open up a second front. Could also maybe have tried to castle on the king side. Yeah, also this was strange. Why did I weaken myself? Hmm. Let's see. Mm. Fire 261. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm usually... Uh... Maybe actually I can do that after this game. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What's up? Mm -hmm. Not sure what that sound is about. Mm -hmm. Do I ever feel like I need time off chess? Uh, yes, sometimes, quite rarely. And usually not for many days, but uh, I do from time to time take breaks from chess. That's for sure. Someone, yeah, someone is probably. I think f because I'm, I'm using the same OBS as when I stream normally. So probably this sound is someone uh, uh, following my my own Twitch channel or something like that. I would guess. Feels like it. People are following probably. Yeah. I, I let me just. Uh, it's maybe not the most pleasant sound, especially as it's not my my own channel. But thank you very much for the follows. Anyway, I mean it's that's very nice, getting uh, getting those. Uh, sound of Simon Williams regretting a move. Yeah, that <laughs> could have been it as well. Ah, but I wanted to play Rook Eight, but I don't have cover actually. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for the follows. I do not uh, know uh, who you are yet. Uh, let me just. Plug in my computer because I don't follow that cha uh, chat as well. But 
Not much appreciated, whoever you are. Mm. Ah, Roni. Ah, thank you very much. Let's see. Okay, now he and out the checkmate. Yeah. Yeah, this was good. Let me see if I can. Uh... Yeah, let's let's go to the next one. Let's play with. Uh... Now I'm scrolling a lot, but this I don't even know what it is. Ah, this is some. I never f play faster than one minute, basically. That's very, very rare. Let's play. Nice move, lol. Who is nice move, lol? Let's see. 1900 games. With white. Uh, excellent. Mm hmm. If he is here, nice move. I mean, of course, handles that uh, are a bit unusual makes me tempted to accept. I had challenges with a handicap. Uh, this I'm not... Uh, I, I don't know too well how it works. Uh, I don't know how fun it is. I guess I could, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is theory. Okay, long castle looks insane. B3 probably is the most solid move. Because my the good thing about my position is that my knight can still come to E2. Normally it's already on F3 where it's blocking myself a little bit. Uh, let's see. So he wants to play G5. And that would actually maybe trap my queen. So I think I should go back. Uh... Nothing different, yeah? Odds. So I will just start the game and I will realize that I don't have a lot of pieces on the board, yeah? <laughs> that could be... Uh, that could be <laughs> could be quite fun. Uh, if I can comment on the Petrosian incident, I don't know enough about the case. Uh, unfortunately. I mean, the knight should be... Now I put the knight on f3 in any case, but I mean, the main point with having the knight here is that you can go f4, you are not blocking your your own f-pawn. But now I got the best, because now I got f4 and then knight f3, so I got sort of both. Uh, otherwise it was only this... Uh, basically you, you need f-pawn to create uh, play. Uh, let's see. Hmm... C4, yeah, yeah, maybe I should have blocked this, but I was not convinced how bad it is for me. Um, should I take back? Recapture? Also, knight d5 is very tempting, but I'm not sure what it uh, what it actually gives me. I would like him. I would like to stop long castle uh, for black. That's uh, that's clear, but probably it's not that big a deal. Rook d8 instead of long castle, that surprises me a bit as well. Uh, but maybe it's a good move, yeah. Frankly speaking, this is not uh, going uh, that well. Last few moves have been terrible for me. Uh, also, it's 3 plus 0 and I'm down to a minute, so I should, uh, I should probably speed up a bit. Uh, knight a4. Yeah, I guess I need to go for the for the bluff here. He can now collect a couple of pawns, and I don't really have compensation. But uh, uh, what to do? Yeah. Not that many other options. If it takes, maybe I can play rook e2 actually and uh, put some pressure on uh, on the pawn on e5. But yeah, I'm, I'm really grasping for straws here. I mean, my position is uh, incredibly bad actually. Uh, h6 is maybe is it even better? Could be. What do I actually do here? Now bishop f5 is bothering me quite a bit. 
a g5 now at least i can take here hmm yeah Hmm. Not sure about this. Also, I'm not sure about my time management. Uh, what is going on here? The pawn is on e5. Mm -hmm. Okay, now... I'm beginning to feel that I have some uh, some chances here. Check. Take. Ah, but he can actually take. I missed this. Then there is no clear uh, way for me forward. Whoops, now I have to calculate here. Sh oops. Hmm. Queen d6. I'm just hoping that I'm winning this pawn ending. I think I am. I think he's running out of moves. Yeah, this is winning now, but it was not very clean technique. This was actually terrible technique. Yeah, okay, good game. I mean, uh, it was definitely much messier than I intended it to be. Yeah, <laughs> nice swindle. Yeah, I don't know. This was, uh, yeah. Okay, well, well fought, I have to say, and this was excellent. Let's see here. Uh, let's play maybe against GRGM2B. What is this? Casual 3 0. Let's play C4. Ah, Arcudipto, how are you today? Hello, welcome. Uh, GRGM2B, that's quite hard to say. National Master. Mm. So let's see if he's here. Mm. It was, yeah, last game was very complicated, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I definitely lost track about what opening is C4. This is called the uh, English uh, opening normally to start with one C4. That's generally. Uh, Played uh, as, as a way to avoid the main paths, but still, there is some theory. Mm. It's a little bit uh, unpleasant uh, quite often for, for black players to face c4. Because you can't play quite the same again as against d4, but also you have to be ready for white going d4 next. Uh. Yeah, grgm2b seems, uh, seems to be a way, I think. Think it's time to uh, to abort it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. If it doesn't come, gotta abort. How many people are there? There are some fifty people, roughly. So uh, let's see. Ojavier sixteen. Let's play with Ojavier. Why I didn't capture the rook? Yeah, I mean, there was so much going on towards the last few seconds that uh, I simply uh, I simply don't know what I did and didn't do in that game, unfortunately. Favorite classical chess game played by myself or played by others? Uh, depends. They are unfortunately not the same. <laughs> uh, Queen b6, okay, let's go bishop d3. Mm, shot castle. Have I ever played a serious game drunk? No, I have not. I have played blitz uh, games and tournaments and so on, of course, but uh, uh, not a classical game. No, that's definitely not. Uh, bishop b4, okay. That is not usually how it's done here. But it does make some sense, I mean... Uh, you want to take there, let's go h4. Engines, I heard that they are not trashing the French defense. I heard Grandmaster Anish Giri made an excellent video series on the French. 
Mm, so I'm, we have to really question this whether the French is bad or not. Mm, it can be argued that it's quite a decent opening. Uh, I guess. Bishop b4, I don't know if it's strong, but at least uh, it puts some pressure on my position. Now I really think that should have uh, should have captured my rook. Uh, winning some material and then you have to suffer, but generally speaking in the French you have to suffer anyway, so... Uh, like you are, you are, you are a bit passive or a bit under pressure, but you are hoping to get counterplay later on, and then you might as well, uh, you might as well be up material. Uh, let's play before immediately. I was thinking to protect it first and then play before, but it, this sacrifice must be uh, uh, must be enough compensation. Must be super dangerous if it takes something before. No problem, Grandmaster to be. If I remember, maybe I will, yeah. Okay, let's play b5. Now he can go knight a5, but the knight is... Ah, it's not very solid on a5, I think. I think this knight will be uh, very vulnerable. Uh, maybe actually I should take on d4. Let's take this. I'm thinking to take, because he takes back. I have bishop takes a5. It should be very good for me, right? I mean, it would be even better if I could just win the knight without giving him uh, my knight in return. But I don't think I can. So, I think this is good enough also. Like, I take on a5. Uh, he goes maybe rook c8. Then, I mean, I would like to get my bishop to c3. Okay, now he allows bishop c3 immediately. So now... Now I'm doing fairly fine, I think. Uh... Let's see. Uh, what to do here? I mean, the fancy way is to go rook a, oh, rook a2, I was about to say, and rook d2, but it's actually just hanging. Okay, let's go with other rook then. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, the problem for black, this rook, this knight, they, they are not developed, and like these pawns are a bit weak, so... Uh, uh, looks... Looks very good for me. I think this king will also be under pressure. Uh, from Venezuela, my opponent. Saludos desde Venezuela. I just came home from the Spanish, or came back from the Spanish uh, uh, team championship, which was played in Linares. Uh, but I have to admit that my Spanish is very, very weak. Hmm. Let's see. Bishop f5 will come at some point, probably this first. Now that bishop on d7 is hanging. But if queen e6, I have bishop f5. Yeah, exactly. And the team of uh, Grandmaster Pia Kramling, Sweden's female number one since uh, at least 40 years, won, uh, won the Spanish team championship. That is correct. Let's see here. Yeah, this, this should be good enough. Maybe just bishop e4 next. Mm, the problem is still that the pieces can't be developed here. Uh, okay, thank you for the game. Uh, e4, e5, not f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, d4. This uh, feels uh, a bit unsound, but I guess playable in blitz. Also, yeah, of course I'm taking uh, opening uh, suggestions. What is this bone cloudy? Only... Hectic. <laughs> Let's play with Hectic, <laughs> because Hectic was, uh, yeah, mentioning me before, so let's see. Bishop b4 immediately instead of rook d1. Yeah, that was a ni nice shot, actually. I was not entirely convinced, uh, thought there was no reason to give my rook, but it was, yeah, I agree, you know, I should have done it, probably. It was nice to sacrifice a rook and then deliver mate. By Spanish, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I do mean the the language actually. The Roy Lopez, I think, uh, uh, I think I handle okay at least. At least I grew up playing the Roy Lopez with both colors, so I hope I have some understanding. Mm. 
Swiddler had some problems against this Gambit. Yeah, no, I know it. Uh, it exists. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think play it as white as when I was a bit younger. Uh, but that was some time ago before I became old and boring. Hmm. So hectic, but hectic now needs to get out his pieces. Yeah, very quickly. Does can't play with the yeah bishop a4. I don't like from from general grounds because. Uh, uh, you need to get your pieces here out instead. Like d3, knight d2 would be more, I think, uh, to the point. Mm -hmm. d4 played, okay. If I take, no, I need to take. This does make some sense because now, after taking, the knight can come to c3, so. If I'm preferring one or three, I don't, I don't really care. I'm mixing it up. I'm playing mainly three because it gives me some time to explain what is going on in the games. But from time to time, I also like to just uh, make pre-moves quickly. And a lot of them. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, I think I misplayed a little bit because now it feels... Uh, uh, now it feels like white is doing, I don't know if okay is, uh, I mean, if completely okay, but at least let's say sort of okay, yeah? Mm. The name of this opening is Sicilian Alapin, yeah, but with a very, very rare third move from white, which I do not believe has a name, but I could be wrong. Hmm... So now I'm threatening checkmate, g3 will be played. So I cannot sacrifice because the knight is protecting. No, I don't know, I mean, Bruno, I, I also believe that, um, that black is quite comfortable, but... Uh, uh, the, the, there is quite some difference between quite comfortable and actually better. And this might be on the, on the verge. Mm. So yeah, what is this now? Hmm, yeah, g3 as expected. I think maybe the knight comes to f5 instead. The other option is to sort of break break up the the center with e5. But I'm worried about uh, weakening the light squares, because his bishop can become quite strong if I go e5. So let's see, I go knight e7, now knight f5 or knight d5. Ah, he clearly wants knight f4 now. Maybe I go to g6, just because I said... Uh, uh, just because I said I would go to f5. Okay, now e4, e4 I don't like so much, because it blocks the bishop on, on c2. Now the bishop is worse than it was before. Yeah, now I think things are going in my uh, direction quite heavily. Uh, and now there is even checkmate. But it was for a long time quite a big, uh, I mean, quite quite an unclear game or quite an even game. So yeah, definitely well thought, uh, hectic. But uh, yeah, at some point, of course, yeah, it becomes tougher and tougher, more and more complex. Let's go back to. Uh, but racing, <laughs> this is a, from position. What is this? Uh, let's play against. Rated against Marb. Let's play rated against Marb. If he's there, Marb 2020. He plays the English as well. Let's go e5. Now I can play the Alapin with the colors reversed. But let's do it. This is the same as last game, just with the colors uh, turned around. Uh... A d3, normally I would have expected uh, d4. The question is, should I stop bishop g5? I decided not to. Now, I'm hinting at going e4 at some point. Mm. What is... Let's see here, just... But h h6 is a bit unnecessary. Do I really need it? Feels like I don't, but 
What do I need here? Maybe d4 actually. Yeah, maybe d4. Uh, favorite game of myself. I do like my win against uh, Moisenko actually quite a bit uh, from the Qatar Masters a couple of years back. Uh, but I mean different games, yeah. I mean some nice uh, counter attack against Wesley once, or actually twice was quite nice. Uh, but quality was nothing special. It was just sort of uh, nice to win. Uh, it's yeah, it's tough to say. I I I don't really know about my best games. Uh... Do you play the? Do you prefer Nidor or Sveshnikov? I I'm a big Nidor fan. I was always in my entire life a big Nidor fan. So I have to say Nidor. Night of is, by the way, how I beat Wesley in this game, in in Gibraltar. Mm. Now I'm trying to put pressure on the pawns. Ah, this is interesting. He sacrifices an exchange. But it, ah, it's interesting, but I doubt, actually, that it's uh, and completely sound. So this, if, if I'm being honest here, yeah, I, I, it, it's... It cannot really be completely sound, I think. Mm. But maybe practically it's not a bad try at all. That could definitely be the case. Uh, where should I go with the bishop? Let's go to c5. Mm. Fianchetta! <laughs> Good evening, Fianchetta! Who is next, next door to me in this uh, hotel. Or not next door, but... Somewhere lurking in the hotel. How was the round today in uh, an OHS? Any nice interviews afterwards? Uh, let's see. I'm trying to calculate this, but why? I mean, and how? How badly do I? Hmm. This I missed. Now, now it's actually. Uh, uh, no, it's actually a game again. Now, I mean, the c6 pawn was quite uh, uh, quite an important pawn that I blundered. So now I have to fight, actually, from my heart to win. Bang the walls. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, which one to take? Let's take this one. No, what I like here is if I can get my knight to c6. Then I have complete... Uh, uh, complete control. Mm. So what I should not do now, I think, is to take the pawn on a2. Or can I? Take on a2, c6, rook c8, knight... Actually, I might pick up the pawn. Ah, knight b6 first, of course. Ah, but still, I have rook a7, rook c7, if c6. Could be... Uh... Uh, I mean, if I'm in time to knight before knight c6, it's completely over. It's, uh, yeah, c6 is the only move. Yeah, now, unfortunately for me, I see rook c7, there is knight d5, and there is a fork. Uh, so I have to play knight b4. And this will now be messy. This is uh, some incredibly dubious technique. Uh, knight d5, I have to give back my rook, which was definitely not part of the plan. Hang on, knight takes d5, take king f8. King f2, king e8. No, I, I'll do it like this. Still, I have one one more pawn. So, winning chances, but uh, yeah, compared to being an exchange up for nothing. Um, yeah, we can't say that I did very well here. Uh, But unfortunately, or fortunately for me, it's still enough, I think. If I have enough time. Uh... Ooh, not knight d4. And that would be a major mistake. What is this? It's 3 plus 0 now. Uh -huh. And I can also try to flag, maybe. Uh, let's go here. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Tá. Oops. Yeah, this was very uh, not very clean technique at all, and maybe it's even a drawing. Then I'm not sure. Could be actually drawn. <laughs> but yeah, I was very close to making knight d4 because if he takes, I thought I have a queen, but my king was actually under attack, and that would have lost a piece. Uh, fortunately for me, I avoided it in the last second. Hey, 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 let's uh, play some Monkey Getsuda. Let's see. Let's play now a casual 3 plus 2 to relax a bit after that exhausting uh, sight knot. Uh, so e4. I did play a bit of Cecilia. Let's play French. Fight against the French hate. Winning by 10 points, you mean it was plus 10 in the end, by according to the engine. Then it's winning. Now the win of our French. Let's follow Mr. Geary and see how well he does. Mm, or how well his opening does. Bishop D3. I haven't seen this in a long time. It's a peculiar move. So you lose some time with the bishop. But on the other hand, the bishop is not so badly placed on, on F3. Ah, queen e2 is possible, but mm, that looks to me a bit risky because I think uh, I can take. Petrosha and Kochnoi and Botvinnik, yeah, that's uh, that's good company to be in. Uh, yeah, this bishop e3 was not uh, not actually the best move because now. Uh, mm, now I take, and if he recaptures, then I take with the queen, and the rook is hanging with check. And after that, also the bishop on e4 is hanging. So this was, uh, uh, yeah, I think I think unfortunately for him, uh, too many of the pieces are uh, are hanging here. I will be a rook and a piece up. So what do I think is the most overrated chess principle? I don't really know. Many of the principles that gets some hate, I actually quite uh, quite like, like uh, overprotection, for instance, by Nimsovich. This uh, always made a lot of sense to me, for instance. Uh, let's take another one there to just trade queens. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know. I know that many of the my fellow grandmasters don't agree with me. Uh, <laughs> Castling is overrated. Don't move same piece in the opening multiple times. Yeah, may I mean, I, I think in general modern players are very flexible, so uh, we are not really following too much of the rules anyway, so... Whoops! Wanted to play f6, but somehow lost hold of my king. Luckily, it doesn't matter that much. Mm. I never saw, actually, the Alapin Gambit, but frankly, it doesn't look like the most impressive thing. Looks like a pawn to me. Uh, what? If you like it, I'm sure it will suit you well. Castling is overrated. I'm not sure. I like to castle. Maybe something with bad bishops would be... Because in general I believe that bishops are very rarely bad. Uh, that could maybe be some uh, over uh, uh, what is it? overrated. It could be a bit overrated. This in many of the cases where they say that the bishop is bad, especially against a good bishop, this is overrated. Like, bad bishop against good bishop usually they are in fact quite similar. That uh, is probably a little bit uh, of an. Uh, a little bit overrated rule. Why don't we see GMs play exciting stuff like King's Gambit? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, that maybe that's maybe I should play some Gambit next game. I will play next game some completely unsound Gambit and see how it goes. The Gambit hater. I don't want to be nicked. The Gambit hater. Uh, yeah, that's a good one as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe that's uh, that's a rule actually that I quite like. Uh, that uh, when you are completely winning, it often, I mean, often they say that you should win as safely as possible, but also uh, it often makes sense to win as quickly as possible. So if you can spot, for instance, a clear, uh, you can calculate the clear line until you have won. Then you only need to make one one sort of calculation for the rest of the game, and then the game is over. So like you only need to do it once. Uh, instead of going, for instance, to an ending, which is clearly better or sort of winning, but you still have to spend 40 moves to win it, and you have many possibilities to make a mistake. That maybe is one of the rules that I don't like so much. Is that should be there is nothing uh, nothing wrong with winning fast, basically. Mm. Play f4 and g4. Okay, let's see. <laughs> well, not in the first two moves. But <laughs> let's see if I can come up with some gambit. If you want some specific gambit. Nah, let's see if it can be done. Let's just take someone. Let's scroll randomly and take... Uh, Itamar. No, Radio Shahi. Let's play Radio Shahi. But this is 2 plus 0. This is now a little bit faster. So what gambits are we... I tried to play one gambit against French, where I gave up the pawn on d4. I did play it, actually. Okay, King's Gambit. Let's go. Fajarovic Gambit, but Fajarovic Gambit is mainly depressing. Knight f6. What is this? Okay, let's continue. d5, okay. But now I am very... What is this now? Am I doing well? Bad? Nothing special. That's the problem with King's Gambit, I mean, uh, or with Gambits in general nowadays. That Try to play a Gambit and very, very rarely are you uh, able to... Uh, to actually uh, Gambit the pawn, like the opponent. They so rarely take what you offer them. That is a big problem. Polgaevsky Gambit. This I don't really... Is it in the Queen's Indian? In that case, it's a very solid Gambit. Uh, speaking of books, I got the question about books earlier. Uh, and now that you mentioned Polgaevsky, I have to say that Polgaevsky's books, they are excellent. I can very, very warmly recommend them. They are maybe my favorites, if I have to pick one. Smith Mora Gambit, yeah, this also is possible. I mean, this, but King's Gambit, you can see, yeah, I'm already now trying to pick up material rather than, uh, rather than mating my opponent. So, yeah, it doesn't work that much, that well. This Gambit play. Now I want Rook C1. I think I will play Rook C1 even if he took my knight. Mm, and thank you, Petzer. Itamar God, I am from uh, Sweden, but I'm living in Denmark, but I'm co currently quarantined in Norway. Uh, mm -hmm. So which one to take, the rook, the knight or the bishop? Let's take the... If I take the bishop, there is some bishop e4 move. Maybe that is unpleasant. Okay, let's puzzle. Look, okay, rook takes e6, bishop e4. How bad is that? Um, probably not so bad. Hmm. And Gratilish is one of my favorite players. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. Uh, Son of the world. Max Lange Gambit, but I, 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 oops, I hardly remember what Max Lange is. I have some vague recollections that it's something fun in E4, E5, but what exactly? Let's see now. Can I go for mate, actually? No, I cannot. Hmm. I'm not happy at all by what I did here. Am I just losing a piece? 
Ay, 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 I'm losing a piece for nothing. No, here, here. Finally, I found something which, in fact, is very nice. But it took me so much time. This double check here. This is actually very nice. And it's checkmate on the next move. But yeah, it did, did take me a lot of time. I think it was uh, maybe the only way not, uh, to, uh, to not lose the game, in fact. Uh, queen b5 and then double check no matter how it takes. And after king f8... I have queen e8 mate. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. I had the, the same uh, here, maybe. No, but here I cannot play bishop b5 because queen takes e3 check. Ah, but I can, I can maybe play queen b5 here, yeah? Queen b5 would make some sense. Uh, yeah, maybe. But that okay in the game at least it was it was pretty uh, pretty cute as well. Let's play against. Uh... Dario. Let's play Dario. Let's go e4 and let's see what sort of gambits we can come up with. Mm. Good evening, uh, Ultima and uh, Monstab Music. How are you? I do not work with Axel Smith, no. And I am not using this method, which I, frankly speaking, never really understood the point of. Uh... I am in, in Stavanger, that is correct. Okay, now let's play finally the, the gambit again. Now I will sacrifice a pawn. Uh, but it's somewhere, I think, in between a healthy gambit and, uh, and an unsound one. I had actually this already once on stream. Then they played my opponent played bishop b4, uh, which is interesting, but maybe not the best. Uh, let's see, b a6. Hmm. Do I care about this pawn? Very unlikely. Do I just push? I just pushed last time. That worked well. So let's do it again. Uh, I have the crown of... I did not see your challenge, unfortunately. I'm sorry. There are many challenges and it's a bit uh, tricky to pick one. What day am I gonna be in the studio? I will be doing commentary for No HS from, for TV2 from uh, Saturday. Until then, I'm quarantined. Uh... So from round 5 till 10, like from round 5 until the rest of the tournament, I will do the commentary there. Gary Kasper played Evans Gambit in a classical game. Yeah, that could be correct. Evans Gambit makes some sense. Mm, I mean, it has some sort of positional foundation. Uh, and thank you, Petzer, for 20. I uh, much appreciated for the subs to the to Liches. I mean, really, Liches deserves to be uh, supported in all possible ways. Uh, Liches is a very nice site. Uh. Mm. Let's see, okay, so he plays bishop this. So, I mean, uh, just to explain the concept a little bit here, I have given up a pawn, he has an extra central pawn, uh, and I have no direct threats at all. Uh. Like, I'm just... But but what I have is that it's very difficult for my opponent to develop his pieces. Like, this bishop here cannot really get out. And even if it would be coming out, bishop e7 shot castle, the king would be very vulnerable because there are no defenders. So it's sort of a very long-term uh, sacrifice. Uh, based on the fact that it's 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 very difficult for black to to get out properly and fight against the space. Uh, mm -hmm, Dario, Dario from Serbia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, in, but in Serbia they like uh, gambits as well. I think, and they are tricky players. I have played a lot in, uh, in uh, especially in uh, in Bosnia, but also in Serbia and Croatia. It's always tricky. Eh? They are, they are. 
fighting very well and quite practical and so on. I mean, not, of course, not everyone, but in general, uh, it's the spirit. How come I'm not playing for hamburger? As hamburger, uh, you mean in the quarantine Bundesliga, yeah? Uh, that is because, uh, well, generally, I simply don't have that much uh, free time to do such. I have been playing classical chess last week mm, in Linares, Spanish team championship. N next week I will do, or starting Saturday I will do commentary for uh, Norway chess. So yeah, and now I'm doing this. Mm, let's see here. Yeah, so I mean, he can take trade one piece. Uh, but it doesn't help him that much. I mean, the problem is still the, the bishop on uh, on f8, I think. So, okay, let's just continue with the restriction policy. That's why this line is also very, very nice to play in blitz, because uh, you are restricting... Uh, th that's basically the only thing you do. You just restrict uh, uh, the black pieces. So now if he were to castle, then okay... I guess queen d2 would be very, very strong. Now, finally, it's actually the queen rather than the king that gets trapped, which is surprising, but uh, yeah, in, in general, black is black is just so passive, so it's, it's very difficult to handle this, I think, for black. Uh, let's see now. b99 is overrated, okay. Let's play from without the country as well. No flag. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So what what gambits do we know that we can play here? Uh, hmm. Let's play this one. I just remembered one gambit that can be quite interesting. It is called the elephant gambit. Uh, where you go like this. Did I already forget what what I'm supposed to do? Is it e4 first or is it bishop d6? No, e4, queen, it's bishop d6, I think. If anyone uh, knows uh, <laughs> the theory of the elephant gambit, please let me know because I don't remember. I think it's bishop d6. Uh, I have not read the, the book. I was actually published a book about this elephant gambit. But I think you're supposed to, but if I push the knight d4, yeah, let's go here. Icelandic gambit, well, no, well, elephant gambit, I think it's called, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the origin of the elephant gambit. I just know that it exists and it's maybe not entirely as bad as it uh, as it's supposed to be. But of course, it's still it's still bad for sure. Uh... Hmm. Hati elephant. This I did not know. Hmm. Found by an elephant. Yeah, that could actually be true. <laughs> yeah. So Bishop, actually, this uh, castle was what I was hoping because now. I have bishop h3, right? And because of the pin, I'm picking up the rook on, on f1 at least. So now I'm actually ahead in material. Problem is I, I gained some, I gave some time. Gave up some time, so... not. I'm not sure that I'm better even here, but... Because uh, he will play d3, but, but probably I am a bit better. Uh, at least the opening has been a success, That's that's for sure. Elephant Gambit proper. I may I, ah, I played the, the Elephant Gambit proper. That's nice. Uh, then I remembered it correctly. So I, of course, if I'm playing Elephant Gambit, I want to play it properly, eh? not uh, not to play it in a dubious way. Now let's think. Okay, probably castling is good enough. Mm-hmm. 
Actually, elephant game. I mean, I, I will have to check how bad it is. If it's not so bad, it could be played. But I have uh, <laughs> I have a feeling that it's it is uh, unfortunately pretty bad. But mm, okay, knight b seven. But here I'm okay. I mean, I here I'm better. I have an exchange. I will play queen h five, knight d five, knight g four. Uh... Ah, thank you for the game. Gaming on terrible PC. I did not know it was you when I uh, accepted. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing now is I'm trading, but I'm also sort of... Uh, in general, I would like for white to be stuck with the bishop, because the bishop is very easy to fight against with the, with the rook. So... Uh, I'm happy in, in general with, uh, with trades, I think. 9g4 is tempting as well, though. Even, even though I say I'm happy with trades, maybe I will this time avoid it just to get 95 with tempo. Mm. H3 is interesting, but is there anything wrong with taking? Maybe not. You don't sound the way I look. Do I, <laughs> someone with a rough voice. Why, why did you expect me? Do I look rough? <laughs> that was, uh, <laughs> I have to say, quite a, quite a surprising statement. I don't speak as rough as I look. I have to say, I uh, I, have I have never heard that one before. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, Halloween gamut is interesting as well. Yeah, Halloween gamut maybe, maybe could be one for the uh, for the future. Uh, in general, it seems people know more gamuts after one e4. Yeah, so I should still uh, I should keep playing one e4. Because then that's very gambit friendly territory. Mm, let's go rook e8, try to enter. In general, it's also 3 plus 0, so like I will uh, I will flag him pretty soon. Uh, okay, g6, just to stop knight f5, and now the rook is coming here. And, yeah. The problem is that the knight is very bad at fighting h-pawn as well. Let's take it. Thank you for the game. B99 is overrated. Well played, well played. Mm, let's play with... Uh, Alon. Let's play Alon 22. Mm -hmm. But now I'm black. No, Elephant Gambit worked well. Yeah, Let's see if I'm giving the chance to, to do it again. Uh, uh, or what other gambits we can come up with. Hmm... With black, I always had a, a very counter, counter attack, uh, at attacking style repertoire. Uh, like I played the Grimfeld, I played the Night Earth, I'm quite heavy theory, but also sort of uh, in the, not in the most sound ways. Generally, I was playing it. I was playing it more like uh, in the most double edged way. For instance, in the Night Earth, uh, I was often putting the pawn on e6, like the Scheveningen structure rather than putting it on e5, which is much more solid. Uh, he has to get this counter-attacking game going, which I which I like. Uh, and not always the most sound, but... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see here. Uh, he seems to be, unfortunately, not here. Let's now play with uh, Dugong. Ah, Dugong is also having this. Uh, okay, now what options do we have here? We have the Falk. We have the Albin. Let's go Albin. Let's go H5. It's not really a Gambit, I know, but it sort of has a Gambit vibe to it. Because it's fundamentally unsound, and I think he falls for the only only sort of point uh, uh, of h5, and that is now the bishop. Very very surprisingly, is, is in fact trapped on f4. 
This is one, it's one, one of the strangest uh, traps uh, I have seen in recent uh, times in chess. I immediately fell in love with it, of course. Uh, it's so surprising that the bishop is trapped, in, especially in such a solid opening as the London system. Uh, and I think, okay, generally, I mean, you could maybe get three pieces, three pawns for the piece, but uh, I, the piece is, is much stronger than the pawns here, I believe, in general, because it's so open and, and the pieces will start getting to work very soon. Okay, now it's only two pawns, and if I trade queens, I should be technically winning, so. Yeah, an opening trap there. Uh, uh, that could be useful to know. Rainbow. I have a rain. He has a rainbow flag. Obviously, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what country is the country of the rainbow, but uh... hmm. How do I do this now in the proper way? Take queen a five. Pro but now bishop c four. Yeah, I should not have allowed bishop c four. Uh, and what do I do now? Did I manage to make it too more complicated than it ought to be? I wanted, of course, to play bishop e6, but he stopped it with uh, with his last move. Okay, let's play queen here. He has to go bishop e6 next. Yeah, exactly. I, th that's the point. That's why I have to play e5, yeah, for those of you who discuss what happened in the beginning of the game. I have to play e5 so that the queen protects g5. That is the point. Uh, what will be my first over the board tournament? I mean, I already played one last week, so that was that was the first. That was actually my second since the pandemic started. I have played two classical tournaments and uh, two blitz tournaments. Uh, the next one, though, is a more tricky question. This I I have no idea whatsoever. Uh. Mm. Yeah, so here I'm a piece up, he has one pawn, but uh, yeah, especially now as he has to trade queens, it's uh, it's quite clear that the compensation is not enough. Uh. How do I win in the most technical fashion? So I don't know. A bit treat. Let's play a6 maybe. Probably I should have traded queens, but uh, this should be good enough. If he takes, then for sure uh, it's it's good enough. And here I was actually intending to go for counterplay immediately. Uh, queen g7. There is rook f8. The only only like sort of small small issue for me is that I can't cast along. Like if I could cast along here, white could resign, but now my king is still stuck, so this this needs to be uh, taken care of. But after I take care of that, uh, it should be should be fairly straightforward. Uh, let's go queen c5. Make some arrows. Now there are many ways here, but I think this one is the fastest. Checkmate, thanks for the game. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, it's the bug house legend, I don't know where. <laughs> Hope you're not talking about me. So here probably I will play now, yeah, 3 plus 0 definitely, and uh, one last 3 plus 0. Mm. And then, or oh, three plus, ah, actually I managed to play three plus two by mistake. Okay, doesn't matter, this is three plus two, but the next games will probably be some bullet, because we are uh, beginning to run out of time. Uh, where is the gambit I was intending to play? Was it this one? Budapest gambit. I heard it's popular online. Mm, so yeah, next, after this I will mainly be accepting bullet challenges, because it's the only thing we have time for. Uh, thank you, gaming on terrible PC. That's kind of you. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. My last tournament was in uh, was in Spain in uh, the Spanish team championship. Finished uh, last week. Mm. But the next tournament is trickier because I I have no idea what uh, what my next tournament will be. Unfortunately. Mm. Hmm. I mean, and also for those of you who uh, did not get a chance to play a game, I hope I have not played anyone twice, by the way, by mistake. That could, <laughs> could very well happen to me, but uh, I don't think I have. Uh, but for those of you who did not uh, have time to play today, I will uh, be back same time tomorrow. Uh, so you will have more chances then, for sure. Uh, same time, same format, I think. So should be nice with some new tries there. Mm. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm sacrificing a pawn, but this uh, I have to admit is a very sound positional sacrifice. So this this double pawn is not very useful at all for white. Uh, big question is: Am I better or am I as comfortably equal? And I do believe that I am. Uh, I am better because. This bishop is very, very strong. I will now try to attack the pawn on e3. Uh, mm, maybe knight d1 has to be played to protect, but then at least I can take the pawn on e4. And I win my pawn back, and I'm very, very active. Ah! Perfect clear! Why not capture, capture? This is entirely correct. <laughs> I immediately understood what you meant when you said it. Yeah, I can take. I could have taken here. Knight takes, knight takes, and then if he takes my queen, I have checkmate there. Uh, but uh, okay, he can take first on f6, and it would not be that clear. But I at least definitely should have spotted it. Knight d1 played. Nice spot. Very nice spot. Mm, take now this check. I thought was very. Uh, Useful for me if I have an yeah in GM perfect clear yeah exactly <laughs> you can maybe send your application to Fide immediately after such a find mm. no I, d I don't <laughs> I don't have an academy no no this was I was just playing uh, for my club there mm. yeah so now I mean it's equal material but. Uh... So many things are uh, are hanging in the white position. I think actually now uh, Queen takes f3 will uh, Will not be possible to stop And that should be At least a very good start to finishing off this game uh, Take here And now probably I don't know if this is the Fastest way, but it it's good enough. I don't have an academy award either. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> Thank you for the game, uh, Orti Safri. Yeah, now now I think if I have some slightly faster time controls, I will try to accept them. Ah, here we have some bullets. Hmm. Just win my games. Yeah, how to become a grandmaster? Uh, I mean, I played a lot. I started my games, mm, and bit by bit, I improved. Uh, I, I mean, nothing special. All, all aspects of the game. Let's see now. Let's go h5, h4. Typical bullet, uh, bullet moves. Yeah. Mm, rook c8. Queen a5, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, this was a nice shot to get in. I think this this is uh, going to be uh, game for uh, for white now. Let's see. Check. Let me just see. I sort of managed to. Ha! 
Have I played in Vike? Yeah, I played many times in Vike. I think I played uh, four times. <laughs> I as a coach for the Jamaican chess team. Yeah, this I have not uh, thought about. <laughs> Maybe it's a nice idea. <laughs> I have uh, been coaching some other teams though. Thank you for the game. Uh, thank you for the game. Now let's try. Half a minute. I wh What is it even called? It's bullet or ultra bullet or hyper bullet? I'm always mixing them up. Let's see here. This is going fairly well so far. Uh, Ah, hyper, hyper, this is hyper. Okay. And checkmate. Ah, ultra is 15 seconds, yeah? Oof, oof. Yeah, rook takes f5 immediately was also, I mean, but it's very difficult to, I mean, it's so easy to miss. Let's play, um, I will be uh, immediately uh, <laughs> thrown into this gambit line here. Wow. Mm, which is very scary for me. Let's see, which I don't remember at all. Oof, I'm already close to lost, I think. Ay, what happened now? I'm 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 very close to lost, or I was. Now I'm fine. Interesting line, yeah. I should uh, I should maybe take it more seriously than what I have done so far. But Bruno Pavsevich is fighting well. I have to say, I'm not that impressed by what I'm doing so far. Now check, which I missed. Okay, he missed also, luckily. Now I should be a bit better. Hmm. Yeah, it's his pet line. <laughs> he completely demolished me uh, from the first couple of moves. Uh, but now, I think I'm in control. And now I'm definitely in control. Thank you for the game. Who have I faced the most from the current top 10? I think I have faced uh, uh, Vashil Lagrav the most actually and Caruana as, as the second. Uh, let's play with uh, Doppelbauer. No, just sell the world. So I think I had maybe even five games against MVL and four against Fabi or something like that. Uh, let's go. Mm-hmm. Uh, oops, can't do that. Can't do b4 either. This is getting a bit out of hand. But now I think the queen might be trapped. This is good news for me. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know f takes e6. I sort of... Uh... I was well aware already when I played it that I did something very stupid, that's clear. Uh, who would I say is Sweden's second strongest player? This I, I don't really know. It's tough so far to say. Tough to say who is who is second strongest in Sweden. Mm. I think so far I, I, I don't know actually. Probably I did, yeah? I don't remember if I scored 100%. Uh, what is this? Let's go here. I want to play h6 and queen g6. This is my plan. But then for that to happen, I have to keep my bishop. Now I want queen g6 next. And I'm allowed to do it with check even. Checkmate. Thanks for the game. Mm, and now let's play double bow. Mm. Yeah, Fabi lost Armageddon. Yeah, but Firusha is very strong in Armageddon. He should, of course, not have lost yesterday. 
uh, that uh, that was I mean he was dominating so much that it didn't make any sense that he lost also having five seconds to make his last move online that would not happen yeah he would never ever lose on time in such a situation but it's different to play over the board of course it's not at all the same mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we are we are like approaching uh, last parts of today's uh, session, and that's why I sort of decided to play a little bit one zero to uh, to speed up to give more people uh, a chance to uh, to play a couple of more games. But I will be back tomorrow uh, at the same time, and then uh, uh, yeah, there will we will of course mainly play Blitz, maybe some Bullet as well in between, some Fisher Random, whatever. Uh, yeah, thanks for the game. Okay, I will. I think probably uh, I will play one last. One plus five. I never saw this time control. Where was it? It was some one plus five here. I disappeared. Let's play one more. Akuch. Mm, if he is here. Uh -huh. He wants to trade, but I don't want to trade. I never want to trade. Let's see here. Hmm. Ah, this was not great. But now to attack. Uh -huh. They. I mean, so many times today have I won this pawn on uh, on a two. And checkmate. Okay, that was fast. One more, one more. Let's go. Mm. Shreyan. Mm. Ah, you were playing blindfold. FM as per as per it. <laughs> Okay, that was impressive to play blindfold like that. That was very nice. Uh, let's see. Maybe go d5 and I just want to deliver mate with h5. This is my, my main plan here. Can I take here, I guess? Uh, bishop e2 should be simple enough. Check. Knight will come to g5. It looks very scary. Uh, it's very scary, but is it actually winning? I'm less sure. Uh, I need more stuff on the H-file. I don't have enough pieces there. Which is insane. Mm, because I already have so many. So what do we do here? Do we play G4? Do we take? Probably we take. Yeah, and we play Rook G3. This looks very scary for black. Yeah. And now, finally, checkmate. I think that uh, for me will be uh, will be it for today. Uh, uh, but as I said, don't f forget. I mean, tomorrow same time we will get a new chance. Should be nice. And uh, yeah, I hope you all uh, enjoyed. And uh, yeah, see you see you tomorrow. Then I hope. Yeah? Take care, everyone, and have a good night.